Exclusive contract with Velu Novel Network Novel. Comprehensive Comics. Starting from reversal time 80 years before his rebirth, Tian Cheng looked at his daily life, which had not yet been eroded by the foreign world, and smiled from the bottom of his heart. He knew that soon a biochemical crisis would erupt in the main city, opening the door to a turbulent future. Zombies, ghost tribes, spells, dragon kings, evil gods these terrifying extraterrestrial beings will soon destroy all the warmth of the past, making death and war the main melody of everything. In his past life, Tian Cheng Wang had no talent for cultivation and could only use his familiarity with the plot and characters to maintain a balance of terror. Countless people have died, and Tian Cheng Wang's life is also full of regrets. However, it takes half a life to complete the grand ceremony, achieve the transcendent, and return to the past heavenly city. I hope these things will not happen again. In this life, there will never be any more regrets. Felu Novel Network reminds you that this novel and its characters are purely fictional. If there are any similarities, they are purely coincidental and should not be imitated. Chapter 1 The Beginning of Everything You are listening at NovelFull.audio Tian Cheng Wang has been reborn. This did not come as he expected, as he had voluntarily chosen to be reborn. There are too many regrets that cannot be changed in one's past life, and one's path forward has also come to a standstill. Only through rebirth can one change everything. Before rebirth, Tian Wang was a traveler. But apart from a book in his mind, he had no cheats, and that book had no response at all. Even without any cheats, he could have become a copycat and relied on the knowledge of a time traveler to invest in certain industries that were bound to rise. He could have been a wealthy man for a lifetime, happily spending his life with his beautiful confidence. But disaster has struck. Around the city of Chiba where he lived, a city like Bedlord suddenly appeared. Before this, Tian Cheng Wang could confirm that there was no such city in this world at all. And even more terrifying is that apart from himself as a traveler, no one has any reaction to this newly emerging city. It seems like that city has always existed there. In his previous life, he deeply felt that Bed Lord City was clearly the main stage in a certain anime, where a biochemical crisis was about to erupt and countless zombies would turn it into a purgatory. Tian Qing Wang retreated and immediately fled the surrounding area of the Bed Lord City with his friends. He has no cheats, no superpowers, how could he have the courage to save those protagonists he has never met before? The zombie crisis did indeed occur afterwards, fortunately the virus did not spread globally, only a disaster occurred within the main city. At a huge cost, Neon managed to control the disaster in the surrounding area of the main city. Just as everyone breathed a sigh of relief, a series of disasters unfolded. Awakening urban legends, monsters, ghosts, monsters from movies creatures that originally did not exist in this world have emerged one after another. These are all fantasy creatures that I have seen in movies and anime before I traveled through Tianqingwang. Countless disasters are repeatedly impacting the world. After the first disaster, Tianqingwang ran out of money. Using his foresight for the existence of these alien worlds, he recruited the protagonists or supporting role who could cooperate with him, and tried to nip the disaster in the bud. At the age of 40, the book that led him through time finally revealed the path to him. The path to becoming a truly supreme existence. For the next 60 years, he slept less than two hours a day, and the rest of his time was spent preparing for the grand ceremony of changing his essence and becoming a transcendent, as well as collaborating with extraterrestrial beings to fight against disasters. After a long confrontation and disaster, he was already scarred and the vast majority of his body had been replaced with a righteous body. Former friends and loved ones have passed away one by one, and Tian Cheng Wang can only grit his teeth and continue to struggle. And now, he has finally reversed everything and returned to the quietest and most peaceful period in this world. In this life, I will never let tragedy happen again. Clenching his fist, Tian Cheng looked at the attributes on the page in his mind. Name Tian Cheng Wang, Gender 
Male Physical Fitness Mortal, 33% Ability Power of the Transcendent, Beginner 1% Finally The Ability Column of Tai Wang is no longer empty in the previous life, but has the achievements he has obtained throughout his life. The Power of the Transcendent Transcendent this is the path that Tian Cheng Wang comprehended on his own after thoroughly reading the book in his mind. Or rather, this is the path he has chosen. The effect of the power of the transcendent, in simple terms, is to infinitely enhance one's own abilities. There is no limit, and the more power the transcendent has, the faster his ability will improve. At the same time, the power of the transcendent can also become an energy source for unleashing any ability. Magic, superpowers, and spells can all use the power of the transcendent to provide energy, and the effect is stronger than the original version. He can definitely make progress as long as he exercises, and he will never weaken with the passage of time, only become stronger and stronger. The way to enhance the power of the transcendent is to entangle with the destinies of the protagonists in other or present worlds, change or destroy their destinies, which can enhance their power of the transcendent. In the past life, the transcendent power of Tian Cheng Wang came too late, and there was no time left for him to enhance his transcendent power. Of course, the act of rebirth itself is also a part of the grand ceremony, because Tian Cheng Wang cannot just forget those who have passed away. Therefore, when he first planned his own ceremony, he had already considered rebirth as the final step of the ceremony. The rebirth he achieved is a true reversal of time, a miracle that will restart the infinite universe. Instead of cleverly jumping into a parallel world, the transcendent power he gained in his previous life was also reborn into the body of this life. This also means that Tian Wang finally doesn't have to watch battles from the rear every time, and has the ability to control their own destiny. Tian Wang picked up the dumbbell and began his basic exercise. Now his physical fitness is only average. 33%, just a healthy average level. Two hours later. Sweating profusely, Tian Qingwang put down his dumbbell and began jogging on the treadmill. And his physical fitness has now reached the mortal level, 37%. While jogging, Tian Qingwang began to reminisce. After the disaster in Chiba City, many residents who originally lived in Chiba chose to move out of the city, including many male and female protagonists. Yes, this world originally had many everyday characters. In his past life, Tian Cheng Wang, who believed in fate, did not actively recognize these characters. He only passively interacted with them, but now, he needs to enhance the power of the transcendent, so he cannot be so capricious. Chuan Wu, the female protagonist of Passersby, and the little buried girl of Gan Wu. After organizing the memories in his mind, Tian Cheng Wang remembered these daily characters in the series. Shui Nai a bitter smile appeared on Tian Cheng Wang's face. At the final moment of his completion of the ceremony, it was also the time when Snow, who had accompanied him for half of his life, passed away. This stubborn woman is unwilling to become an eternal being. Tian Cheng Wang kissed her forehead at the last moment and promised her, I will give you a happy world. However, the current Snow may not know him yet, but he is certain that after being reborn, Snow will still be the woman who has accompanied him for half of his life, rather than another existence with the same appearance. He chose to bring the infinite universe back to the past in order to truly change the past and see the people who were with him again, rather than easily jumping into a parallel world to be reborn. I made a list of people in my mind, and Tian Wang needs a way to unite them around me. Tian Cheng smiled. This is exactly what he was best at in his previous life, recruiting others to work under his own command. As for the name of the organization the foundation is not bad. After some exercise, Tian Cheng Wang was pleasantly surprised to see that his physical fitness had risen from an ordinary person, 37%, to an ordinary person, 45%. You should know, this is just a few hours of exercise, and he has already gone from an ordinary person's physical fitness to the level of a non-professional athlete. Moreover, his transcendent power at this time is only 1% of the entry.level level. 
Satisfied with the results of the exercise, Tian Cheng Wang decided to put the cultivation of swordsmanship on the agenda. Firstly, he has a dream of close combat, and secondly, the study of Kendo itself can also provide some physical exercise. He opened the map on his phone and searched for a nearby Kendo gym. Unexpectedly, in the bottom column, I saw the Poison Island Dojo. Did the bed owner city come to this world so early? In his past life, he was extremely idle and bored. Two months later, he saw the map and discovered the sudden appearance of the bed lord market, only then did he realize the arrival of a foreign world. But it doesn't matter, because the date of the zombie outbreak in the main city is fixed, which is two and a half months later. Coincidentally, it's still the holiday before the start of the second semester of his first year of high school. He doesn't have any reason to establish a relationship with Snow and the others. It's better to go directly to the Poison Island Dojo in the main city and get to know Poison Island Ryoko first. He, who possesses the power of transcendence, although not explicitly stated on the panel, has a completely higher level of life, so he naturally does not worry about being infected when going to the main market of the bed. Tian Cheng Wang booked a ticket to the main city of bed the next day and then began the second round of exercise. He needs to race against time to become stronger in order to no longer leave regrets in this life. Qing Ming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 2. Kazuko Shitani and Ryoko Takushima. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. The next morning, Tianchen Wang pushed his suitcase to the station. Just halfway through, he seemed to remember something and came to Snow's house with a smile on his lips, knocking on the door. Who is it? The girl who didn't sleep enough opened the door, but the anti-theft chain was still properly inserted. Hello, Snow, Tiancheng Wang grinned. Pang. The girl closed the door without hesitation. I said it would be like this, Tianqing Wang muttered to himself. He didn't get angry even after being shut down. Now that Snow has never met him before, it's strange that he can give him a good face by knocking on her door for no reason. He did this just to fulfill a promise he made to Snow in his previous life, and to find her as soon as possible after being reborn. Upon seeing the youthful Snow again, Tian Cheng Wang continued to the station with a joyful expression. Because almost all of yesterday's time was spent exercising, even Tian Cheng Wang, who had the power of transcendence, had some sleep deprivation. His current body is different from his previous life, and he is not yet familiar with the work of constantly sleeping and forgetting food day and night. In fact, if it weren't for the help of those extraterrestrial beings in the previous life, he would have been overwhelmed and died suddenly on the desk. After all, in order to achieve the purity required for the ceremony, he cannot and cannot modify his consciousness. Although that book never took any active action other than pointing out the path to becoming the supreme being for the heavenly city, after he realized the path at the age of forty, he passively guarded his spirit in his mind, preventing him from going crazy or being controlled or reading his thoughts in the face of a high dot ranking existence. This is also the minimum guarantee for Tian Cheng Wang, as a mortal, to communicate with various demons and monsters. At the same time, the protection of books also prevents his spirit from being worn down by time, allowing him to remain as active as young people, and even at the age of a hundred, he will not appear lethargic. Before arriving at the station, he saw a familiar figure. Shitaniko, a beautiful girl with long black hair, was walking out of the station with her usual expression. She should be really calm now, rather than pretending to be calm as she awakens her spiritual vision in the future. Because in his past life, there were many visitors from other worlds who could wield spiritual power. In the memory of Tiancheng Wang, only the Yin and Yang eyes of Shirgu Kanako were not given too much attention. Moreover, due to the relocation of residents in Chiba City caused by the Bed Lord City incident, he did not even know where the other party had ultimately gone. But now is not the time to feel nostalgic for our old friends. Tianqing Wang yawned and walked into the carriage. Jian Zi. 
That handsome guy was staring at you all the time just now. Ah. Jian Zi, who was looking down at his phone, was fiercely hugged from behind. From the familiar elasticity, Jian Zi can recognize who he is. Lily Chuanhua, a girl with a figure that surpasses her peers, is currently the only friend of Jian Zi. She has a sweet appearance and is full of vitality. What's so surprising about this? They just took a look. Because that guy is really handsome. I've never seen someone so handsome before. The original appearance of Tianqing Wang is not bad, and after being transformed by the power of the transcendent, it is flawless. The temperament brought by the long experience of the past life is self-evident, which attracts young girls. Are you still going to buy Mesos donuts? We have to queue up for a long time. Although Sigu Jianzi also stumbled a bit, she wouldn't act so exaggerated like her friend Xiaohua. Going, going. Upon hearing the delicious food, Xiaohua instantly shifted her attention. Unexpectedly, the two of them discussed their own views of Tiancheng and looked out the window, sighing at the beautiful scenery that was about to be set on fire. In his past life, in order to completely eradicate the zombies in the Bed Lord City, Neon mobilized the ground self-defense force. However, due to numerous misjudgments caused by Do and suffered heavy losses, he boldly borrowed a cloud bomb from his father to turn the entire city into ashes. Unlike the global virus outbreak in the original work, the only city in this world experiencing disasters is the bed owner, so strictly speaking, this is not considered a wrong behavior. But without their procrastinating and inefficient operations, the bed owner incident wouldn't have been so ugly, at least there would have been many survivors. Those zombies don't have any tyrants or other mutants, they are just ordinary zombies with slow movements and even no vision. They are really not worth looking at in the face of modern firepower. Not long after, Tianqing Wang heard the sound of vehicles entering the station. Father, I wish you a prosperous military career. Just as he got off the car, a gentle and mature female voice caught his attention. Daughter, I'm just going to a dojo abroad, there's no need to be so formal. The father and daughter, who were bidding farewell in front of them, had their iconic dark purple long hair. Tiancheng recognized her as the target of this trip at a glance. Takushimaru Yoko. Noticing the gaze of Tiancheng, the other party cast a curious gaze. Hello, may I ask if you are the daughter of the Poison Island family? Tianqing Wang didn't awkwardly look away, but instead took the initiative to approach and start talking. Do you have anything to do? asked Ryoko's father. This man, who appears to be in his forties or fifties, although dressed in casual clothes, looks no different from an ordinary uncle at first glance. But Tianqing knew that this was already a small achievement in Kendo, no longer as sharp as a beginner, but as a blade hidden in a sheath, only showing its sharpness at the appropriate time. It's about the same level as the peripheral bodyguards he hired at the age of thirty, and it's quite strong at this time. Is this the great teacher of the Poison Island family? I've heard a lot about him. I have specially come to the main market of the bed, hoping to join your dojo and practice swordsmanship, said Tiancheng calmly. That's it. Poison Island's father thought for a moment. The boy in front of him, although looking very young, made him feel for a moment that the other person had a strong and resolute demeanor. He has only seen this feeling in those truly skilled swordsmen. But none of those people are the great masters of the founding sect. How could this young man in front of him feel this way? The father of Poison Island shook his head, assuming that Quan was an illusion. However, there may be something extraordinary about the other person. If it weren't for the need to go to a foreign dojo, I would really want to personally see this young man's talent. Well, then, you can take him back to the dojo later. As the father of Ryoko Takushima, he is well aware of his daughter's combat effectiveness, so he has no worries about whether this boy will have any bad intentions. Yes, father. Ryoko Takushima looked at the handsome boy in front of him, his heart racing uncontrollably. The feeling that the other party gave her was completely different from the peers she saw on peace day. Don't forget to charge tuition fees. 
Seeing his daughter's eyes locked on the boy, he teased her and finally waved goodbye to Poison Island's father, who had gained a white eye. After bidding farewell to the father of Poison Island, the two of them took a taxi. I'm impolite, I haven't introduced myself yet. My name is Ryoko Takushima, and I was born in Fujimi Academy for three years. I am Tiancheng Wan, the one that your son of General Wu Gao. One year old. Ryoko Takushima couldn't believe it. Tianqing Wang's performance always made her think that she was a fellow student or senior, and even the mature demeanor of the other person made her sometimes mistake it for an adult who had already entered society. This is also normal. In his previous life, Tiancheng Wang lived for a whole hundred years. Although most of his time was spent on rituals and work, his experience exceeded that of most people. Not to mention that in his past life, he commanded numerous guests from other worlds. Although he spoke humbly, he always showed a hint of authority as a superior. If you're a freshman in high school, school hasn't started yet, asked Ryoko Takushima. Ryoko Takushima is still wearing a school uniform because Fujimi Academy is still in normal classes. This is the terrifying thing about the arrival of a foreign world, their time is different from this world. Similar to the timeline of a certain Grim Reaper elementary school student, when Tianqing Wang was still in summer vacation, the school in the bed owner city was still attending classes normally. Similarly, no one is aware of this, but this difference in temporal cognition will gradually become unified as the fusion progresses. Where are you planning to stay? Are you from Chiba City? Spend money to find a hotel to stay, said Tiancheng Wang with ease. He had already earned his first bucket of gold with the help of the scribe, and although he was not considered wealthy, there was no problem staying in a hotel here for a period of time. How can this be done? Ryoko retorted. You can stay in the dojo of Poison Island Flow first, and I will have someone tidy it up for you. Ryoko Takushima didn't even realize that the boy in front of him was much better than the other disciples. I'll be more respectful than obedient, Tiancheng Wang readily accepted. He looked at the girl's well-trained body, and it was obvious that she had already learned something. There was a different feeling between walking, sitting, and lying compared to ordinary people. Amazing! The opponent's combat power has long been reflected in the anime, and the family's swordsmanship is also close to being fully mastered. The performance of the original work, the physical fitness of the main characters in the group is quite good, and Ryoko Takushima is one of the outstanding ones. Thinking that Miyamoto Ri could easily shoot adults away, at least as far as the main characters are concerned, their physical fitness is much higher than that of ordinary people in the daily world. Qingming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 3. Yin Yang Escape Technique and Entering the Dao Field You are listening at NovelFull.audio But it's still not enough Tiancheng looks at his attributes. Name Tianqing Wang, Gender Male Physical Fitness Ordinary, 60% Ability Transcendent Power, Beginner 1.5%, Beginner Yin Yang Escape Technique, 40% while his physical fitness has improved by leaps and bounds, he is still training in the technique of yin and yang changes he acquired in his previous life during his rest time. In his past life, Tiancheng Wang has explored numerous extraordinary knowledge, but those can only be considered impurities for rituals. Therefore, in his past life, he only memorized those spells and did not personally practice them. In his past life, he also had titles such as, Encyclopedia of Human Shapes, Learner of Ten Thousand Laws, Master of Theory, and so on. It is unknown whether he was praised or ridiculed. After all, his previous life's aptitude was dull, and practicing these spells would not actually have much combat power, but would instead become an obstacle to his ritual. However, now that he has gained the power of transcendence, his learning ability and qualifications are not on par. In just one night, he can use the little ghost to serve him. If there is enough material, 
he can already use spells to attack. Although on the surface, it seems that Ryoko Poison Island has a higher combat power, this basic yin yang escape technique is enough for the Heavenly City to defeat the opponent in direct combat, let alone the Imperial Envoy Little Ghost Yin Man. Arriving at the dojo, the ancient and charming scene made Tian Cheng couldn't help but show a happy expression. Having stayed in those cold technological buildings for too long in my past life, this ancient charm still has a fresh feeling. Although spells have now been introduced, physical exercise must never be neglected. In his previous life, he had defeated many powerful individuals with average physical fitness. Tian Cheng Wang's view is that even if a true strong person is not a hexagonal warrior, they cannot have two weak weaknesses. Otherwise, it is easy for people to detect weaknesses and collapse with just one blow. Kendo is just his starting point. When the strong players from other worlds arrive in the future, Tian Cheng hopes to accommodate the leaders of a hundred schools and refine them into his own abilities. The Yin Yang escape technique of Tian Cheng Wang is like this. The Yin Yang escape technique he has learned now is a fusion of multiple Yin Yang masters from different worlds, combined with some Taoist magic skills, and his own understanding of truth. The most crucial thing is the trace of truth he captured at the end of the grand ceremony. That is an indescribable thing, and even Tian Cheng Wang, who has seen countless world powers, is somewhat surprised by its combination with the Yin Yang escape technique. What surprised him was not how powerful it was to destroy the sky and earth like the monsters of later generations, but its versatility and ease of use. A person with slightly spiritual power, as long as they learn the Yin Yang escape technique, not to mention being invincible at the same level, at least one or even two levels higher, it is difficult to kill them because it is too comprehensive. If other spells have two effects with just one mana, then their Yin Yang Dun spell can have ten effects with just one mana. Moreover, spells cover all aspects, including attack, protection, running, reconnaissance, and even daily life spells. The vast knowledge of Tian Cheng Wang has created a large number of practical spells that can be used in various aspects for Yin Yang Dun Shu. To put it bluntly, Yin Yang Dun Shu was able to meet the needs of almost all battlefields for a long time. Perhaps in the future, the heavenly city flowing Yin Yang escape technique will become the mainstream of entry. Level cultivation in this world. Why is it beginner's practice? Anyway, the Yin Yang escape technique is just the same set as the Yin Yang masters, with the upper limit right there. It's enough for beginners, but it's not enough to become a strong one. Tian Qingwang has no intention of hiding anything, as long as he joins his team, everyone can learn from his own school of thought. Firstly, the combat effectiveness of the Yin Yang escape technique is ultimately limited, and secondly, it is necessary to give subordinates the ability to defend themselves. Otherwise, where do those everyday characters come from with combat power? Of course, it's not just the Yin Yang escape technique, but the benefits of joining him are countless, but that's all for the future. Tian Cheng Jun, don't be in a daze, go in and take a look, reminded Takushi Marioko. Well, let's go inside. As the training ground in the dojo became closer and closer, the majestic cheers reached the ears of Tian Cheng Wang'er. Undoubtedly a swordsmanship celebrity, it seems that there are many disciples in the dojo of the Poison Island family. Everyone, please stop. Ryoko Takushima's voice was not high, but it instantly quieted down the dojo. This is a new disciple to the dojo, Tian Cheng Wang. She looked at Tian Cheng Wang, who walked up to everyone without any stage fright, and couldn't help but show appreciation in her eyes. Is there any teacher willing to teach? Tian Cheng Wang's bones and flesh are well proportioned, and his divine light is introverted. Although his muscles cannot be seen through his clothes, Yoko Takushima can also confirm that the other party is a good student of swordsmanship. But to her surprise, after an awkward silence, no one was willing to teach Tian Cheng Wang. In places she hadn't noticed, there were still people looking at Tian Cheng and provoking with their eyes and brows. Tian Cheng Wang was not very angry. He had controlled the organization for more than half his life and had seen countless idiots. These small characters were not enough to catch his eye. 
Is that so? Then I'll personally teach you, Lord Tiancheng, come with me. Takushima Ryoko's tone cooled down, and he turned around with a look at Tiancheng before leaving. Tiancheng Wang didn't originally intend to learn from these five scumbags, but now he has fulfilled his wish. After they left, intense discussions erupted in the crowd. Where did that kid come from? Why are you so close to the young lady? Special, look at him standing there with a dragging expression. If Miss is not there, I'll just beat him up. Little white-faced, now he has an advantage. Teacher, what should we do, a sleazy man asked. He referred to him as a teacher, and was a man of all sizes, with a face full of flesh. His name is Takata Yusuyama, and it is well known in the dojo that he covets the daughter of the Poison Island family. However, Poison Island Ryoko has never given him a good face. Little brat. I have a way to make him obediently get out. His face showed a fierce light. I don't know if someone is still leisurely admiring this mansion while staring at their heavenly city view. But even if he knew, he probably wouldn't take it to heart. It's just a small bug, crush it to death. Miss Poison Island, I. Tian Cheng Wang just wanted to be open and honest. What he wanted to learn was swordsmanship for killing, not any competitive sports. Those monsters wouldn't wear protective gear and play one dot on point one with him with bamboo knives. Just call me Rico. Dot. Unexpectedly, halfway through the conversation, he was interrupted by Ryoko. A hint of intoxicating blush flashed on the other person's face. This is the first time she has hoped to be addressed so intimately by her peers. Tianqing Wang is not a piece of wood, he smiled slightly. Okay, Ryoko. I have something I want to tell you. What's going on, asked Riko in confusion, what I want to learn is the technique of killing. Tokushima Ryoko's heart trembled, and he turned around excitedly, looking incredulously at the astonishing words of Tenaji. What are you talking about? No, if you encounter difficulties, you can tell me. Although our Poison Island family cannot be called one hand covering the sky, there are also some forces. After a brief surprise, Ryoko seemed to have misunderstood something. Watching the other person think for himself, Tian Cheng Wang increasingly felt that this woman was cute. Don't worry, come on, let's sit down and chat. After a while, in Tian Cheng Wang's mouth, he heard that Takushima Ryoko, who was about to erupt into a biochemical crisis in the main city, was unsure of what to do. This matter is too absurd, but she couldn't help but want to believe the other party. After the transformation of the essence of Tianqing Wang's life through the great ceremony, some sensitive individuals will unconsciously obey his words. However, this effect is more of a subtle elimination of barriers, an increase in trust, and not to the extent of changing cognition. You see. Tian Cheng raised his finger lightly, and in front of Ryoko Takushima, the table between the two of them slowly lifted and finally stabilized in mid-air. In the perspective that Ryoko couldn't see, it was the heavenly city watch that drove a little ghost to lift the table. Seeing is believing, this supernatural scene shattered the worldview of Ryoko Takushima for many years and greatly increased the credibility of Tenaji's statement. So, what should we do, she asked helplessly, lost in temporary chaos. Join me, let's save this world on the brink of breaking together. Tian Cheng Wang extended his hand to her. Qing Ming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 4 The Blood Alliance of Ryoko Takushima. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Late at night, in the backyard of the Poison Island residence. This is the first time I've done this, it's really exhausting, Tian Cheng Wang complained after a long time. In front of him, a circular array with a diameter of about one meter had already been formed, and several candles were still lit around it. The materials for these formations were naturally purchased by Ryoko Takushima on his behalf. Fortunately, 
Jiancheng Wang is a theoretical master, otherwise these materials without any spirituality would not be able to achieve anything. Is that all right? asked Ryoko Tokushima, who watched the entire process from the side. Done, now stand in the middle and relax your mind. Without any hesitation, Ryoko Tokushima walked to the center of the formation. Now, make a cut in the palm of your hand. As Tiancheng Wang gave the command, he also made a cut in his hand. Hold my hand. The two of them clenched their hands together, and blood dripped onto the formation. As the obscure and incomprehensible spell was spoken from Tiancheng Wang's mouth, Yoko Takushima felt his connection with the other party getting closer and closer, and in the end, he even felt his soul blending with the other party. That feeling she couldn't help but clamp her legs tightly and almost squatted on the ground. Focus. Tiancheng Wang, although somewhat embarrassed, still whispered. Yes. She blushed and perked up. This is a spell called Blood Alliance, and the advantage of this spell is that it can form a mystical steel alliance between the two at a very small cost. This is also the first time that Tiancheng Wang has used this spell. In his previous life, the process of recruiting new members in his organization has been automated, so it's not as difficult to use it. However, the effect of Blood Alliance is also different from that of automated contract signing in previous lives. It is much more closely connected than the latter, and cannot betray each other. At the same time, it can also nourish the abilities of both parties and enhance them together. At this moment, Tianqing Wang felt that Rico's physical fitness, which was slightly higher than his, was feeding him back, and his physical fitness was improving at a noticeable rate. Then Tianqing looked at the attributes of Ryoko Takushima, and after establishing contracts and other connections, he could view the attributes of others. Name Ryoko Takushima, Gender Female Physical Fitness Mortal, 84% Ability Poison Island Flow Swordsmanship, 83% There is no difference between the attribute and the expected Tiancheng Wang, and it can be called a powerful combat power among mortals. As for why he established a blood alliance with the girl when he came up he, who had already sensed the girl's intentions, naturally did not pretend to be wooden, and this blood alliance was the response. That. Lord Tiancheng. Ryoko felt the connection between the two sides, showing a rare expression of hesitation. What's wrong? Tiancheng Wang asked. Can we be considered as having made a promise like this? She, who has been troubled by her own violent impulses, identifies herself as an outsider and dares not establish intimate connections with others. But now, she has encountered a stranger who is even more detached from common sense and has made an alliance with the other party. What do you think? Tiancheng Wang pulled her into his arms and asked softly. The girl who used to be able to break bones with a wooden knife now melts into a man's arms like a puddle of water. Ryoko Takushima finally has a harbor that can fully accept her violent nature. Tiancheng Jun, is it enough for us two alone to save an entire city? The next day, Ryoko Takushima, who had regained his composure, immediately asked. Even if one is proficient in swordsmanship, at most they can save themselves in the upcoming wave of zombies. How can we save a city? Water, electricity, food, shelter what modern people take for granted requires a strong order to ensure its existence, and this cannot be an effect that two individuals can achieve. If Ryoko Takushima saw the gods and humans who had descended from another world, he would probably change his mind. At that time, it was common for one person to rule the planet. For now, it's definitely not enough, but can we rely on it? Tiancheng Wang confidently said. In the original work alone, there are two families, Takagi and Wisteria, that can be utilized. The Takagi family is a powerful local snake in the city, and the Wisteria family's Wisteria Ichiro is a powerful member of parliament. The purpose of Tianqing Wang is not to save all residents of the main city, but to confine the impact of this biochemical crisis within the main city, and take this chaos as an opportunity to absorb the resources for growth. Seeing Tiancheng Wang so confident, 
Ryoko no longer worried and prepared to teach him swordsmanship. Last night, Tianchen Wang fully accepted Riko's heart and brought her redemption. She no longer felt distressed by her violent nature. So, the sword technique of killing is no longer something she despises. The Poison Island Flow Kendo is a school of art that is based on the evolution of the new Dang Flow, which takes the incense taking Shinto Flow as its root and further strengthens the concept of one hit must kill. Because the concept is too radical, it does not have an advantage in modern competitive kendo. However, if the goal is to kill, this swordsmanship will burst into true glory. After a brief explanation, Riko and Tenaji started teaching in a separate training room. Of course, this is the true family heritage of the Poison Island family, something that the disciples of the dojo are not qualified to learn. Drink. Ryoko Tokushima began a basic sword style drill. As the drill progressed, the killing intent on Ryoko Tokushima grew stronger. Before she knew it, her attributes were increasing at an astonishing speed. From ordinary people, 84%, to ordinary people, 99%, in just a few minutes. Is it because our blood alliance has been nourished by the power of transcendence, combined with accepting our own inner consciousness? Due to his unwillingness to accept his bloodthirsty nature, Ryoko's swordsmanship itself was also affected. Now, with the acceptance and guidance of Tianqing Wang, the elimination of inner demons, and the nourishment of the transcendent power, Ryoko's strength has also begun to soar. One step away, Ryoko Tokushima can break through the boundaries of mortals and become an excellent level existence. In the past life of Tianqing Wang, physical fitness was divided into six levels. Mortal, excellent, elite, hero, legendary, and mythological. Of course, there are higher levels of existence, but that level cannot be measured by physical fitness as a standard of strength. This is just a rough summary of the level of physical fitness, and various abilities are actually the main factor affecting combat. In the past life, due to the abundance of worlds that have descended, it is generally roughly divided based on destructive power, such as explosive streets, explosive stars, and so on. In actual combat, due to the abundance of bizarre abilities in countless worlds, there are numerous cases of being defeated and overturned by opponents who are one level lower than oneself, and even it is not impossible for ordinary people to use certain things to kill gods. In his past life, Tiancheng Wang killed more than a few gods. Even if it's just a second-level physical fitness, it's enough to easily slaughter a small army without heavy firepower. This can also be said to be the watershed between mortals and superhumans. Ryoko. Don't stop. As Ryoko was about to end the drill, Tiancheng Wang picked up a bamboo knife and slashed at the opponent without any fancy moves. Now is a rare opportunity. If there is no breakthrough this time, I don't know how long it will take to grind the water. Tiancheng Jun. Riko was surprised for a moment. She, who had originally wanted to stop, felt the wariness on the opponent's sword. Use all your strength. Attack me with all your moves. Okay. In the Poison Island mansion, two intertwined figures clashed like lightning. The figure with dark purple long hair is extremely quick to strike, but it is always picked up by the standing man in a strange way. At the end of the battle, the figure with dark purple long hair was exhausted and stopped attacking, panting heavily. How impressive! How could you block every move? The girl sat on the ground, curious. Of course, it depends on cheating. Tiancheng Wangxin thought to himself. Yin Yang escape technique. Sword spirit talisman. Adopting the strengths of various families, it transmits the swordsmanship experience of countless swordsmen from history to the body, and in a short period of time, one can achieve the pinnacle of swordsmanship. Qingming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 5. Awakening Soul Slaying Blade. You are listening at novelfull.audio. This is just a small trick he stumbled upon in his past life, 
and it does not help with real swordsmanship training. However, as an instant combat power, it is quite good as it can enable him to achieve the physical fitness of a mortal, 75%, through the Blood Alliance's backfeeding, and confront the excellent, 4%. Poison Island Ryoko head dot on without falling behind. It's just a small trick, Tiancheng Wang's pretense of mystery made Riko coquettish. She tightly embraced Tiancheng Wang's arm and kept shaking. Tiancheng Jun, tell me, how can Tiancheng Wang resist the sudden appearance of Ryoko Takushima, who has always been a sister-like figure? Unable to resist the gentle attack, Tiancheng Wang took out the talisman he had made yesterday with the remaining materials from the Blood League. The magic of the talisman amazed Riko. Is there really a master of yin and yang in this world? No, not yet. Subsequently, Tianqing Wang completely revealed the arrival of a foreign world to Ryoko Hattori on the Poison Island. I see. Riko was shocked and finally understood what Tianqing Wang was doing. He is going to fight against countless worlds that are about to come with his own strength. In shock, she secretly looked at the other person with a look of admiration and infatuation. That's right, besides him, who else could have done such a great thing? Ryoko Takushima felt like he had fallen. But soon, Ryoko's inner activities were interrupted by the Heavenly City Watch. Ryoko, do you want to become extraordinary? Tiancheng looks at the casual way. He has low expectations for this world and does not expect to obtain powerful fighters. Even Ryoko Nakajima initially only wanted a virtuous wife as an assistant. In a world without extraordinary power, the characters in it learn something to protect themselves, and there are not too many expectations for Tiancheng Wang. Think. Ryoko said without hesitation. Upon hearing the chaotic appearance of the future world depicted by Tiancheng Wangko, she couldn't help but hope to become the sword guarding her. Defend his safety in the chaotic future. So, come and take a look at this list. Tiancheng Wang smiled with relief, waved his hand, and a strange radiance began to condense into words on the wall of the training room. Ryoko Takushima stepped forward and began reading the text on it. Spells, magic, ninjutsu, domineering, superpowers, completion techniques, soul-slaying swords. When she read the section on the soul-slaying blade, she suddenly felt a wonderful feeling in her heart. Like something in the soul calling out to her Ryoko turned his head and looked towards the heavenly city. It seems that what suits you the most is the soul-slaying blade. This is also a necessary procedure for newcomers who were unable to join the organization in their previous lives, but most people's awakened abilities can only be used for self-protection, and more of them become fighters due to their inherent extraordinary abilities. After all, not everyone has exceptional talents that can quickly catch up with those who have practiced in other worlds for decades or even centuries. Tiancheng Wang estimated that his current transcendent power has reached 2%, which is enough to create a spiritual realm on Ryoko's soul, the core that generates spiritual power in death. There is no spiritual power in this world, and there is no such thing as soul in the souls of natural humans. When the world of death had not yet descended, he could only handcraft it. Don't be nervous, relax. Tianqing Wang walked forward and slowly extended his palm towards the abundance of Takushima Ryoko. Riko closed her eyes tightly, nervously anticipating what would happen next. Ah. Hmm. Feeling the touch from the other person, the originally shy Ryoko had a strange feeling. Opening his eyes, he suddenly noticed that Tiancheng Wang's right hand had passed through her body like a ghost. I am creating the core of spiritual power for you. With this, you have the qualification to become a god of death, so that you can awaken your soul-slaying sword. Death. It was only then that Ryoko understood that the heavenly city was not just looking at as Tian Cheng Wang manipulated in the soul of Ryoko, she gradually felt a force flowing through her body. No, not on the flesh, but on the soul. In the inherent laws of this world, the living soul cannot exist alone, and the dead soul only dissipates or transforms into evil spirits in a short period of time. A mentally stable soul body does not exist at all. 
and what Tiancheng Wang did casually just now has already violated the laws of this world. I have left a small amount of transcendent power within your body. Because there are no spiritual beings in the current world, this small portion of transcendent power will serve as a conversion agent, serving as fuel for the birth of your spiritual power. Because there is no energy system available for cultivation in this world now, and there is no mysterious existence in the atmosphere, Rico can only slowly draw energy from the environment and then transform it into spiritual pressure through the power of transcendence. Tian Cheng Wang estimated that just this little bit of transcendent power would be enough to support Ryoko's spiritual pressure to reach the level of the last rank official among the Grim Reaper. The trouble with the Death God system is that as a human, Ryoko needs to transform into a spiritual body before each attack in order to unleash his combat power. Tian Wang has not deliberately studied this. In the past, those humans who obtained the power of the Grim Reaper were all transformed into Grim Reaper under the heavy protection of the company and went out to fight. Therefore, there is no need or extra funds to study this. By the way, the Awakening Soul Slaying Blade still requires a shallow strike to draw out the power of the soul. Tian Cheng Wang's hands once again emitted a strange radiance, and a simple and unadorned Tai Dao slowly condensed from this radiance. This is a technique he secretly learned from Wang Yu, the self-proclaimed God of Knives. The other party must have never imagined that just an ordinary human could replicate his meticulously crafted technique with just one glance. The title of Theoretical Master in Tianqing Wang is not just hyped up. After completing these tasks, he felt a sense of fatigue that had not been seen for a long time since his rebirth. The power of the transcendent now is still too little to use. As he gasped for breath and handed the shallow blow to Ryoko, Ryoko silently took the sword. Devote your soul to it and engage in a conversation with her. When you learn the name of the sword, the soul-slaying blade will be considered a successful awakening. The cost of this operation is indeed considerable. After Tian Cheng's instructions, he pushed the door open and prepared to take a nap. Yes. I will never disappoint your expectations. Seeing that Tian Cheng Wang was so tired for himself, Ryoko gritted his teeth. Never, never let him down. My knife. Respond to me. Walking slowly back to his dormitory alone, Tian Cheng Wang encountered obstacles on the way. Several men in protective gear surrounded him, waving bamboo knives in a threatening manner. Hello. It's you, this little white face, who confused Mississippi. Look at his trembling gait. How worthy of the Mississippi. There's still a red rope tied to my hand, what's that? Upon hearing this, Tian Cheng Wang raised his hand and looked at the red rope on his wrist. Ha! Huh. When is this? This is something that was worn on his wrist before his rebirth. For Tian Cheng Wang, who is now reborn, his teenage experience is more than 80 years ago, and he only has vague memories of this red rope. He shook his head and temporarily stopped thinking about it. Seeing Tian Cheng Wang looking lethargic due to excessive consumption, a few small subordinates kept arguing. Hey, kid. The man with the largest body stood in front of Tian Cheng Wang. If you can understand, just obediently get out of the Poison Island Dojo for me. If you can't, then lie down and go out. He hugged his chest with both hands and looked as if he had taken the view of Tian Cheng. Why? Tian Cheng Wang tilted his head and asked. You guy. As he looked at the other person daring to provoke, one of the little guys wanted to come closer. But was stopped by that tall man. Because I love Miss Ryoko Takushima. And you are hindering our relationship. He acted as if he were a rational suffering master persuading a third party, and Tian Cheng Wang was amused. Do you know that there is a relationship between you two? Ah. Ah son, the younger brother said in disbelief. How dare you use such an intimate title? Not only in terms of address, but also in other aspects, Rico and I are quite close. Upon hearing the other person's boastful words, Takashi Takashi's eyes were torn apart. You even have to wear protective gear and helmets when you're struggling with a group of people beating someone. 
It's strange to see someone like you at your level, isn't it? Tian Cheng Wang sneered contemptuously. Ah ah, I want you to die. Upon hearing the other party's constant mockery, Takata Yusuji finally took off his disguise as a civilized creature and smashed his bamboo knife towards the other party like an angry beast. Idiot! Tian Cheng Wang said two words lightly. Sheng Shanlong was shocked to find that everyone had collapsed to the ground in an instant. Now, who wants who to die? Tian Cheng said with a smile as he stepped on his head. Qin Ming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 6 First meeting with the leading group. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Yin Yang escape technique. Weakness barrier. Expand a certain range of barriers, and those with combat power below a certain standard will become powerless. Simple and simple, dedicated to abusing dishes. Amidst the frightened gazes of Shangshan Longtai and his younger brothers, Tian Cheng Wang neatly pasted talismans on them. What do you want to do? I was wrong, big brother, please spare me. Hurry up and let me go, otherwise you'll look good. Enemies should be resolved rather than settled. Let's shake hands and make peace, okay? We won't interfere with you anymore. No, we'll exit the Poison Island Dojo tomorrow. Tian Cheng Wan, who used this supernatural means, was like a devil in their eyes. His arrogant attitude just now had transformed into pleading, anger, and a fierce and cunning demeanor. Tian Cheng Wang remained indifferent, just stood up and pinched a fingerprint. Do you know that my company was almost ruined by a character like you once before? How old are you? Where did you come from? Are you from a wealthy family? They thought to themselves. They naturally couldn't imagine that Tian Cheng Wang was a reborn guy, confused by his words. I found that as the saying goes, a thousand-mile embankment collapses at an ant colony. Although ants are very weak, if left unattended, their ability to do bad things cannot be underestimated. So, if you see ant nests that exist in places where they shouldn't exist, it's imperative to scald them to death with boiling water. Goodbye, ants. It seemed to recall the dark part of the past, and Tian Cheng Wang's face showed a stern expression. Tian Cheng Wang waved his hand and they were horrified to find that their bodies seemed to have self-awareness and began to move. The next day, Breaking news, four men drove into the sea last night and were found to be residents of the main city. Please wait for further tracking and reporting on the specific details. Having breakfast, Tian Cheng looked at the news with a satisfied smile. Yin Yang escape technique. Doll play. Use a maximum of ten people as dolls to share the other person's field of view. Control can be precise at close range, with a wide range of control. However, if the distance is too far, the precision of control will rapidly decrease. As representatives of quality and affordability, these charms were carefully designed by him. Rico is still practicing in the training room, and Tian Cheng Wang has decided to go to Fujimi Academy to take a look first. By the way, I would like to take a leave of absence for Ryakazu, who is addicted to cultivation and forgot to attend class. Although using spells can easily deceive the gatekeeper, the frugal Tian Cheng Wang still climbed over the wall and entered the Fujimi Academy. So, your sister is sick. Tian Cheng asked for leave first for Yuko. I haven't heard of a son from the Poison Island family, but a student from another school shouldn't have come in just to lie and take a leave. With such thoughts in mind, Ryoko's teacher accepted Tian Cheng Wang's words. Xiao 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 Xiao. Don't bother me anymore. Just as he walked out of the office, Tian Cheng Wang heard a girl's voice. Feeling the trembling power of the transcendent, another protagonist appeared. Li, weren't we friends when we were children? We still played together in kindergarten. When I was a child, there were so many people in kindergarten, and I played with everyone. Are everyone my friends now? Miyamoto Li laughed angrily at the other person's concept of cheating. 
the two of them were just assigned to the same class when they were children, so what kind of friends can they be? The other party just saw that they had become mature and had a high level of discussion among boys, treating themselves as prey. Hello. Miyamoto Lee. Xiao 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 wanted to grab the girl's arm but was swiftly dodged by the other party. Tian Cheng Wang was not surprised by their different relationship from the original work. In many different realms that have descended from his past life, things that differ from his understanding will occur. Although the general direction generally does not change, many character relationships have undergone significant or minor changes. This student, it's better not to entangle others like this. In their dispute, Tian Cheng Wang intervened. Xiao 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 Xiao, you're not a child anymore. Why are you still stubbornly beating the ground? Hiding behind the new boy, Gong Bunli gained even more confidence. Shu. Seeing someone coming over, Xiao 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 temporarily stopped pestering. A woman who has been relegated, what's her aura here? He showed a mocking expression and looked at Gong Bunli. Upon hearing these words, Gong Bunli's face instantly shrouded in a layer of dark clouds. After spitting, he put his hands in his pockets and walked away without looking back. Thank you, Tong. Are you from another school? Gong Bunli then noticed that the other person was not wearing a school uniform. Hello, I am Tian Cheng Wang from the Poison Island Flowing Field. Tian Cheng Wang smiled brightly, causing Miyamoto Li's heart to stop for a moment. So handsome wait, don't be a flower addict, is Poison Island Flow. A dojo in the home of senior Poison Island Ryoko, she pretended to be calm. Yes, I am learning swordsmanship there. Really, I'm Gong Bunli from the gunmanship department, second grade. Under the enthusiasm of Miyamoto Li, the two added their email addresses. It is worth mentioning that the mobile phone used by Miyamoto Li at this time was still at the level of a few years ago, while Tianqing Wang was holding a mature smartphone. The exchange of artifacts and life between the foreign world and this world is also a wonder of the arrival of the foreign world. However, over time, the people of the Bed Lord City will naturally transition to a stage of synchronization with the outside world, using modern technology to create things. Miyamoto, just now he said you were a repeat student, what's going on? Tianqing Wang asked casually. It's all because of that wisteria. Gong Bunli's face flashed with hatred, but she didn't elaborate. Tian Cheng Wang certainly knows why Miyamoto Rei was kept down. Miyamoto Li's father is a police officer, and his investigation has hindered the situation of the owner of the Wisteria family, Ichiro Zaido. Miyamoto Li's retention was just a warning issued to Miyamoto Li's father through the help of her son, Hiroshi Zaido. Gong Bunli became a victim of adult struggle unconsciously. Ala, Miyamoto classmate. A silly and cute voice came in. Teacher Jichuan. Seeing the teacher coming over, in order to avoid trouble, Miyamoto Li instantly distanced herself from Tianqing Wang and pretended to be just helping out of school personnel guide the way. This student, you don't seem to be wearing our school uniform, do you? She lightly tapped her chin with her fingers, looking thoughtful. Unconsciously, her arm rested on the grandeur. The boundless fluctuations of that passion made Gong Bunli, who was still a young girl, jealous. Ah, I'm here to take leave on behalf of Senior Ryoko Takushima. Oh, that's it. Without hesitation, the other party believed in Tianqing Wang and turned to look at Gong Benli. Miyamoto, it's almost class time now. What are you still doing here? Although Gong Benli, who was reluctant, wanted to chat more with Tiancheng Wang, she couldn't find an excuse to stay here. After bidding farewell to Tiancheng Wang, Miyamoto Li walked reluctantly towards the classroom. I am Ju Chuan Shizuka, the school doctor of this school. If you have any discomfort, you can come to the school doctor's office to find me. Whether it was natural or intentional, Ju Chuan Shizuka ignored the fact that Tianqing Wang was a student from another school and invited him. Finally, with the tacit understanding of both parties, Ju Chuan Shizuka's email was added to Tianqing Wang's phone, intentionally or unintentionally. 
Qin Ming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 7. Black Earth Mother. You are listening at novelfull.audio. After bidding farewell to Ju Chuan Shizuka, a seemingly naive female school doctor, the only female protagonist left in the original work is Takagi Sayo. But now it's already class time, and Tianxin Wang doesn't want to wait here anymore. Anyway, he will be going to the Gaoqing family soon, so he will naturally meet this young lady. The top priority is to go back and check on Ryoko's cultivation situation. He was uncertain whether the shallow strike created by Tiancheng Wang could have the same effect as the shallow strike created by the Blade God and the Two Houses King Yu in death. After all, the technique for creating shallow combat was stolen from the other party. Upon arriving at the dojo, Tianqin Wang felt an unusual fluctuation. Training Room At this moment, Ryoko Takushima's whole body was soaked in cold sweat, revealing his graceful figure. However, she is now closing her eyes tightly, her forehead furrowed, and her usual calm and intellectual demeanor has been replaced by anger. Why didn't you respond to me? In his inner world, Ryoko Poison Island roared at the blade spirit. The white-haired female Dao Ling, with pale pupils, was shrouded in mist and looked emotionlessly at the roaring Rinko. Whenever Ryoko Takushima wanted to approach, the scattered mist would condense into a steel-like cliff, refusing her approach. Anger Starting to spread in the heart of Ryoko Takushima Burning with the anger of Ryoko Takushima, the flames of anger ignited from behind her, gradually eroding her inner world. Ryoko Takushima, are you my host? It's quite interesting, the white-haired blade spirit closed her eyes, seemingly ignoring the spreading flames. However, those who only know anger and cannot control it are not qualified to use my power. The crimson-black, twisted flames continued to burn, and Ryoko's face gradually became fierce. Just as she was about to be devoured by anger, a pair of soft and warm palms held onto her face. Riko, don't show that kind of expression. Even though consciousness exists in her inner world, Ryoko Takushima seems to have heard the voice of a man's pity. His hands seem to have magic, and her heart quickly calmed down. I won't let you down, she murmured. Now it's just the first step to gain strength. If she can't even complete this, what face does she have to pretend to be the guardian sword of the heavenly city? Riko's eyes became calm and resolute again, and a long sword appeared in her hand at some point. She walked step by step towards the blade spirit, and the other person's eyes had already opened, calmly staring at her as the host. In Fang Lu's somewhat surprised gaze, Ryoko Takushima swung his sword towards the condensed mist. Slash With the determination and will of Ryoko Takushima, the iron wall-like mist suddenly dissipated. At this moment, Dao Ling also took the initiative to dispel the mist around him, allowing Poison Island Ryoko to have a full view. She finally realized that her sword spirit was actually a woman with light blue skin and ten arms and three eyes. The other party was adorned with gorgeous silver jewelry, with a face that could be described as beautiful as a fairy, but their expression was solemn and dignified, with a feeling of being rejected from thousands of miles away. Is this what my inner sword spirit looks like? The other person's form is not like a portrayal of the inner world of a high school girl, but more like a deity enshrined in a temple. Ryoko Takushima, on your face. The sword spirit in front of him had just opened his mouth, as if he had noticed something, and he also picked up Ryoko's face with both hands. Ryoko was about to break free, but he felt an astonishing killing intent. Don't move. Don't. Disturb my communication with my husband. A blush appeared on Dao Ling's face as she greedily caressed Luo Zi's face, but that friendly aura had dissipated with the passage of time. My name is Black Earth Mother. You can leave now. Dao Ling let go of Lu Zi and disappeared immediately after informing him of his true name. You guy. 
Ryoko Takushima's anger just now was only about her own powerlessness, and now she really hates this self-willed and inexplicable sword spirit. However, she didn't have time to vent her anger with this sword spirit. She wanted to tell Tian Cheng Wang the good news as soon as possible. Ah! Takushima Ryoko, who opened his eyes, was surprised to find himself lying on the thigh of Tenaji, Kansas. Before she could continue to feel the warmth of the man, Tian Cheng Wang asked in a gentle voice, How are you feeling now? Just now I saw that you were not in the right state, which made you calm down a bit. Rinko, who had regained his senses, quickly sat upright. She thought for a moment, but did not tell the other party about her bad relationship with the blade spirit, only indicating that she had learned the first solution. Rico, truly a genius in swordsmanship. Tian Cheng looked at him with a surprised smile. This is not acting, even in the later period, Kurosaki Ichigo, the protagonist, didn't start so quickly. Of course, the special situation of Ichigo Kurosaki does not necessarily mean that Ryoko Takushima will definitely be stronger in the future than Ichigo Kurosaki. But at least it means that the potential of Ryoko Takushima may not only be as simple as a seat official, but may also be able to become a captain level or even a higher existence. Upon hearing Tian Cheng Wang's admiration, Ryoko couldn't help but smile. The bad mood brought by the sword spirit earlier had dissipated. So, let me see what your soul-slaying blade looks like. After Ryoko nodded with a smile, Tian Cheng Wang grabbed Ryoko's hand and pulled her up. After a strange feeling, Ryoko realized that the world around him had become different. When she looked back, she realized that her body was still sitting in place. She has already had her soul out of her body. By using the method of Tianqingwang, it is natural that no death god proxy certificate is needed to transform Takushima Ryoko into a death god. Takushima Ryoko lowered his head and found that the soul-slaying saber had been worn on his waist at an unknown time. That is a black and red strange-shaped long sword, with a slightly curved blade and a fierce hook and barb on the back. Seeing this knife, one can tell that it is the weapon of slaughter. Ryoko pulled out his knife and tentatively waved it. The blade broke through the air at an astonishing speed, creating an invisible wave that left a few centimeters deep mark on the wall several meters away. Sword Pressure Unlike Kazuki Ichigo's Moon Teeth Tensho, Sword Pressure simply swings the spiritual pressure on the blade for long dot range attacks. Now Ryoko's spiritual pressure is still very low, and the sword pressure can leave a mark on the wall at most. Is this sword energy? However, this is still very gratifying for Ryoko. Even the sword saint among mortals cannot leave a mark on the wall every few meters. That is to say, on the second day that Ryoko Takushima started practicing, the swordsmanship seniors she needed to respect before were just weak chickens in front of her. This is the insurmountable gap between mortals and transcendence. So strong. Look, what does your soul slaying blade look like? Rico instinctively thought that Tian Cheng Wang already had the soul slaying blade and asked. My soul slaying blade refused me. After dealing with the minions last night, Tian Cheng Wang also wanted to awaken the soul slaying blade after a brief rest. After all, as long as he receives the recognition of the blade spirit and cultivates into a swastika slayer, his combat power can rapidly improve in a short period of time. At first, everything went smoothly, and the spiritual organs and soul boundaries quickly took shape. But when it came time to summon the blade spirit and obtain his true name, he was unable to enter his own heart. After trying all night without success, Tian Cheng Wang became angry. Even within oneself, one must submit to his will. Refuse me. Then don't blame me for being impolite. Qing Ming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 8 The God of Sudden Arrival and the Eight Foot Lord. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. In fact, Tian Cheng Wang does not have the power to use the soul slaying blade. 
Even the spirit king could not be considered such a rare powerhouse in his past life. What ignited his anger was being rejected by his own heart. This means that his mood still has flaws. Not long after, he thought of a way to force his inner sword spirit to meet him, but it would take some more time. Rico, you don't have to blame yourself. I'm not such a fragile person. Watching Ryoko think he had hurt himself by saying the wrong thing, Tian Cheng comforted him. Just a soul-slaying sword, even if you can't awaken, it's not a big deal. Upon hearing the undisguised arrogance and confidence in Tian Cheng Wang's words, Ryoko Takushima also let go. Don't say that anymore, Ryoko, let me take a look at your explanation. Okay. Ryoko Takushima stood upright with a serious expression. The liberating language of this knife came to her mind. Slam all the demons, Black Mother. With the completion of the singing of liberation language, Ryoko Takushima's momentum suddenly increased several times. At this moment, a magnificent crown appeared on her head, and an eye-shaped pattern appeared in the center of her forehead. The blade in her hand also became even more terrifying, seemingly emitting boundless blood. Black Earth Mother Tianqing Wang keenly sensed something. The ability of Black Earth Mother is to become more and more brave in battle. As the battle progresses, my strength, speed, and spiritual pressure will all experience a leap in growth. Especially when fighting against demons that destroy the world, these bonuses will have a terrifying increase. This ability did not exceed the expectations of Tiancheng Wang. It seems that the development direction of Ryoko Takushima is to follow the same powerful brick flying route as Ichigo Kurosaki, but with the addition of an evil demon special attack. Don't be flashy, just use the panel to crush you. To verify a certain guess in his heart, Tianqing Wang came to the library. Is that indeed the case? Tiancheng closed his book and pondered why such a thing had happened. Black Earth Mother is another name for the goddess of slaughter and destruction in Indian mythology, Kali. Although Tianqing Wang has extensive knowledge in his past life, he is really unfamiliar with the land of Asan, so it is necessary to search for information to verify. Why would it be her? Tiancheng Wang can confirm that such a divine existence is absolutely impossible to appear now, and there is no mystery in the local myths of this world. So what exactly caused the connection between Ryoko Poison Island and this demon-slaying goddess? I can't figure it out after thinking a hundred times, and the hope of the heavenly city is no longer at the tip of an ox. When soldiers come and generals stop, when water comes and earth hides, worrying all the time is just a waste of time. If you become stronger, you will be able to deal with everything naturally. The soul-slaying blade cannot awaken temporarily, so start with the yin yang escaping technique to enhance your strength. After returning to the dojo and studying diligently for half a day, the beginner yin yang evasion technique has reached 100%. With a solid theoretical foundation and unparalleled cultivation talent, his speed of becoming stronger is so amazing. Tiancheng Wang did not choose to continue his cultivation, but instead began to wander around the city. Before reaching the intermediate level of Yin Yang Dun, he needs to find a Shershan. The Bed Lord City has been around for some time now, and there should be some monsters and urban legends that have also appeared in the world. These individual extraterrestrial beings generally appear together with the arrival of a large one. Tiancheng Wang referred to them as evil spirits. They may not be very strong, but their abilities are eerie, and their movements are often obscured by other worlds. Some of these guys are more famous, such as, Nightmare, Freddy, Fierce Spirit, Sadako, Infinite, Tomo, and so on. The Yin and Yang Dunning skill of Tianqing Wang is ultimately to evolve the style god into the general existence of, Dharmapla, Demon Subduing Vitra. It can be said that the training of the style god is the real essence of this magic, and naturally it needs to be carefully selected. Fujiang and Sadako have great potential and are the first choice as the god of fashion. Why doesn't Freddy exist? 1. He is a man. 2. He is really ugly. Although he can wield multiple style gods, as a perfectionist, 
Jian Cheng hopes not to casually find a lonely soul and wild ghost as the style god just to break through an intermediate yin and yang evasion technique. Tian Cheng Wang may seem to wander aimlessly, but in fact, he is constantly using the yin yang escape technique for wide ranging searches. Spanning half the city, the sky also darkened, but Tian Cheng Wang still couldn't find the monster he wanted. There are a few who have good strength but are really not good for the audience. Tian Cheng Wang marked them and prepared them for Tokushima Ryoko to practice in practical combat. Until he walked near a primary school, he finally showed a smile. The prey has appeared. Shirley Alice sat alone on the swing on the campus playground. As a journalist for the newspaper, my father was so busy that he forgot that he should be picking up his daughter from school today. My mother is feeling unwell and should still be sleeping now. I didn't realize that my husband was so busy that he forgot about his daughter. Dad is such a fool she thought angrily to herself. When you get home, you have to snatch all the tempera from his bowl. As the sky gradually darkened, she couldn't help feeling a little scared. Alice. The one running over, panting heavily, is the new teacher Lin Jingzi. I heard that she turned around because she refused a second dot generation pursuit from the same school and didn't tire of it. Your father's phone can't be reached, I'll take you back. Thank you, Teacher Jingzi. Looking at Alice, who was well behaved and lovely, Lin Jingzi deeply felt the correctness of her decision to transfer to another school. She was originally a table tennis club instructor at Fujimi Academy, but was coveted by male students and teachers due to her unsmiling attitude towards men and her seductive face, which was completely opposite to her attitude. She, who never tire of it, resolutely chose to transfer to another school after rejecting Hiroyoshi Zaido's confession. Coming here, surrounded by little angels like Alice, her passion for teaching reignited. Could you please wait for me? I'll go and drive the car over. Alice nodded obediently and stood at the school gate with her feet raised, looking at teacher Lin Jingzi who was going to the parking space. Boo! The strange sound drifted on the empty playground in the evening, making her shiver. Who? Alice gathered her courage and shouted in the direction of the sound. That is the school's courtyard wall with a big tree next to it. Boo! The sound is getting closer. Alice suppressed her fear and turned her head to look at the red car starting in the distance. Boo! It's even closer. Alice could feel that it was right outside the courtyard wall and was about to reach the school gate. She desperately wanted her legs to move, but as if frozen, her whole body was now unable to move. Boo! A female head wearing a sunshade hat slowly extends from the edge of the door to the side. A beautiful face was revealed, and she looked at Alice with a smile on her face. What, was it just adults teasing me? Alice breathed a sigh of relief. Ignoring this strange adult, Alice turned her head and waved to Lin Jingzi who was driving over. Lin Jingzi widened her eyes and looked at the woman behind Alice who was at the same height as the courtyard wall. At this moment, she instinctively felt something was wrong and quickly accelerated, stopping at the door before the other person approached Alice. Who are you? Lin Jingzi quickly protected Alice behind her, and Alice felt a little scared after seeing the other person's height clearly. Even if the other person is a woman with a delicate figure and an extremely beautiful face, it still scares her for a child's height like a mountain. Boo! The other person's mouth turned into an O shape and made a sound that could not be called an answer. At the same time, she still stared at trembling Alice with a strange smile. Hello, eight feet, I have a new job for you. The three of them looked at the man making the sound at the same time. He was leaning against the courtyard wall, staring directly at the tall woman. Are you coming or not? Qingming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. From today on, I will be your master. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. The woman, known as Eight Feet, looked at the man with a big question mark in her eyes. 
Can't communicate. Tian Cheng frowned. The tall woman in front of her, who was staring closely at Sherry Alice, was the true embodiment of the urban legend known as the Eight-Foot Man. In his past life, the evil spirit of the Eight-Foot Lord was not discovered by his organization until a long time later. At that time, the power of the Eight-Foot Man was already very mature, causing disasters, controlling gravity and weather, and even distorting time and space to a certain extent. In terms of physical fitness alone, it has also reached a legendary level, and even if one does not use their abilities, it is still a natural disaster to walk. Now it seems that there is a reason why the Eight-Foot Lord is so strong behind her. She was one of the first evil spirits to descend into the world, and naturally had more time to become stronger than other evil spirits. Most of the evil forces that follow will be surrounded by the organization of the Heavenly City Watch and those from other worlds in the early stages of their arrival, without the unique development conditions they have now. The Eight-Foot Lord stared at the Heavenly City, his not very intelligent mind seeming to be pondering something. I want. You, she stuttered out a few words. Confession. Lin Jingzi was greatly shocked. She just wanted to quickly take Alice away from these two strange people. Lin Jingzi pulled Alice and quickly got into the car while the attention of the eight-foot adult shifted. Just as she was about to start, the fair arm of the eight-foot adult slammed heavily on the front hood of the car. Desserts. Can't go. As soon as Lin Jingzi's eyes met hers, he immediately fell unconscious and passed out. Fantasy or mind control. Tian Cheng looked at the eight-foot adult who had stunned the female teacher with a single glare, pondering in his heart. In the legend of the eight-foot man, her main prey is underage children. If adults do not actively provoke her, she will not be targeted. Her behavior is not malicious towards humans, but simply a hunting behavior. Illusion, mind control, and changing body shape are her main means of hunting. As the first Shi Shen, these abilities are quite good. As Tian Cheng strolled towards the leisurely courtyard and walked towards the eight-foot lord, he didn't forget to give Alice a reassuring look while sitting in the car. Ah, here we are. Eight feet stared blankly at the approaching prey. This is her first hunting since her birth, and there is actually a good prey and a top-dot-notch prey. My saliva is about to flow down, Tian Cheng Wang reminded. She instinctively wiped her mouth and found that there was no saliva, so she looked at the man who was teasing her with unfriendly eyes. I still don't have enough vigilance. Do you see yourself as an absolute advantage hunter? Tianqing Wang stood in front of her, lifted his head slightly, and looked straight at her. Eight-foot adults don't like that kind of gaze, calm and composed, like chefs handling ingredients. Boo! She didn't want to speak and fiercely thrust her right hand at the man. Even if she had just emerged, she could easily wipe out adult men and even split the tank in half. However, in her incredulous gaze, her arm penetrated the man's body. Yin Yang escape technique. Moon in the well. Can exchange body in paper figures for existence in a short period of time, only effective against physical attacks. This is also the reason why Tian Cheng Wang has the confidence to directly approach the eight-foot adult, whose physical fitness is already excellent, 84%. In no way Moon is his masterpiece, and with just a paper figure, he can achieve temporary physical immunity. Although this spell can be broken with a certain amount of extraordinary energy attached, its cost is low. A paper figure cut out of any kind of paper, with just a little spiritual power added, can release this spell. Even novice Yin Yang spell masters can use it dozens of times in a row. Bo. The eight-foot man tilted his head and looked at his hand and Tian Cheng Wang suspiciously. Little demon, why don't you just surrender? Tian Cheng laughed and slapped him, suspecting that eight feet of life had not dodged yet. Several talismans were immediately imprinted on eight feet's chest. Tian Cheng pinched his hand print and silently recited a spell in his mouth. Ah ah ah. Her mouth immediately erupted into screams, electric currents and flames, spiritual shocks, and several curses rampaging through her body, leaving her powerless to resist. 
Although this is just the most basic talisman, eight feet is just a newly born form. Dong. After a muffled sound, eight feet were powerless to kneel. Look at me. Tian Cheng pinched the print with her left hand and lifted her eight foot long hair with her right hand, forcing her to look into her own eyes. At this moment, eight foot still wanted to use illusions and mental control, but she found in despair that her abilities were like mud cows sailing into the sea, without any waves. Even gods cannot invade the spiritual realm of Tianchenwang. What can she do with a small evil? The sky is round and the place is full, with nine chapters of laws and regulations. Now I cast a spell, and ten thousand ghosts hide. Tian Cheng Wang's eyes burst with golden light, piercing straight into the eight foot true spirit. This is a Taoist spell he accidentally obtained in his past life, with only half a page of fragments, but it is still more than enough to control the eight foot master. Eight feet can only look at a pair of golden palms in despair, using their fingers as pens to draw ancient and vast marks in their true spirits. She knew instantly that the man in front of her would become her master from now on. After Lin Jingzi woke up leisurely, the first thing she saw was Alice, who was somewhat worried. Just now, what happened? She covered her forehead in confusion. Just now, teacher, you suddenly fainted. It was this kind brother who came to help. Alice pinched the corners of her clothes with both hands, afraid that the teacher would see that she was lying. The big brother who saved her just now instructed her not to casually reveal what happened earlier. Alice also read the comic and knew that Big Brother was a real superhero who needed to keep his identity confidential, so she immediately nodded and agreed. Oh, it's like this. Thank you, sir. Tian Cheng Wang finally realized that this gorgeous woman was actually the female teacher who received boxed meals in the first episode of the original work. However, he didn't say much and bid farewell to the two of them when Lin Jingzi could continue driving. It's really fate. Tian Cheng looked at his attributes and couldn't help but sigh. Name. Tian Cheng Wang, Gender. Male Physical Fitness. Mortal, 90%. Ability. Transcendent Power, Beginner 3%, Beginner Yin Yang Escape Technique, 100%. Due to focusing on practicing the Yin Yang Escape Technique, the physical fitness has improved slightly while the power of the transcendent has improved significantly due to seeing many original characters today. Although I don't know why teacher Lin Jingzi came to elementary school, thanks to her appearance, Tian Qingwang's transcendent power has just reached 3%. As for the beginner Yin Yang evasion technique, as long as Tian Qingwang thoroughly cultivates the eight-foot lord into a Shushan, it will naturally break through. In a while, Tian Cheng Wang will be able to free up his hands to establish his own power. The beginning now is simply dreamy compared to the previous life. In the following days, Tian Cheng Wang continued to practice the Yin Yang escape technique without stopping, and under his guidance, Ryoko and Hachichi also eliminated the evil forces in the city's shadows. But we haven't found anything as high dot quality as eight feet. It is worth mentioning that the eight-foot lord now uses devouring other evil creatures as a means of improvement, and does not need to follow legendary rules, no longer treating humans as prey. Poison Island Home, Back Mountain Empty Land A tall woman in a dress and a figure with dark purple long hair were engaged in a fierce battle. If my spiritual pressure is enough. Ryoko Takushima reluctantly fell into the disadvantageous position. Previously, she could have used the increasingly powerful abilities of Black Earth Mother in the Vietnam War to defeat Hachichi in a prolonged battle. However, as Hachichi Lord devoured more and more evil forces, she awakened more and more humanity and abilities, and Rico was already left behind. The initiation ability of Black Earth Mother has not been fully developed, but due to her insufficient spiritual pressure, there is a considerable gap between her and the official. Not long after, Ryoko Takushima had to give up. Humph, I still have the technique engraved by my master that's useless. Oh. Eight Feet was about to proudly express his victory speech, only to hear a pop sound, then his cheeks turned red and he covered the back, 
turning his head to look at the oncoming person. Tian Qingwang stood behind her and glared at her angrily, don't show off there. Master, that's a place that girls can't touch, she coquettishly said. Qingming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 10. Lily Lady, you don't want to. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Looking at the coquettish eight feet, Tian Cheng Wang couldn't help but be amazed at the speed of the other person's awakening of human nature. Previously, the personality level was only equivalent to that of a three-year-old child, but now ignoring body shape, it's like a girl next door. Master, have you cleared the level? Hope, have you completed your cultivation? Two pairs of beautiful eyes stared at him. Well, the cultivation has come to a temporary end. Name. Tian Chin Wang, Gender. Male Physical Fitness. Excellent, 30%. Ability. Power of the Transcendent, Beginner 3%, Intermediate Yin Yang Escape Technique, Heavenly City Flow, 100%, Poison Island Flow Sword Technique, 60%. The Yin Yang escape technique needs to reach an advanced level, and its current spiritual power converted from the power of the transcendent cannot keep up. It can only continue when a foreign world with spiritual power arrives, or when its transcendent power reaches 20% of the entry dot level level. However, this does not mean that he has entered a bottleneck period, it is just that he does not need to prioritize cultivation temporarily. Now, there is almost no existence in this world that can pose a deadly threat to him. Reaching the intermediate level of Yin Yang escape technique, the spells in it have been expanded by countless experiences in the past lives of Tian Cheng Wang, and can be considered comprehensive. Even nuclear bombs have dozens of spells to deal with. The primary task now is to put together the framework of the foundation. In his past life, his organization had over a dozen large departments, with numerous sub-departments covering a wide range of functions, among which the most important were the management and scientific departments. However, the recruitment and operation of scientists require him to have full wings before proceeding. After all, his assets have gone bankrupt after building a few laboratories, and even if scientists are recruited, he can only stare blankly. Moreover, there is a huge gap between current scientists and monster-level scientists who have descended from other worlds, and those recruited can only do some low-dot-end research. Tian Chin Wang's idea is to first establish a diplomatic affairs department and then select personnel from the management department. The management department is the brain of the entire organization, and communication, command, and financial dispatch are all crucial core functions. It is necessary to carefully select the personnel to enter. The functions of the Foreign Affairs Department are also very extensive and important. They are responsible for communicating with secular organizations, disseminating information, and recruiting foundation members. In other words, they undertake three major modules. Diplomacy, Media, and Human Resources. Having determined the direction of development, Tian Qingwang took out a map of the main city and pointed to a point to ask about it. Is this the Takagi family? Madam Lily, you don't want your daughter to encounter any unforeseen circumstances, do you? Accompanied by malicious laughter, the man looked up and down at the woman, who was like a flower in the mountains, with malicious eyes. She is mature and beautiful. Although her daughter has already entered high school, there are no signs of aging. Gouching Lily, a woman he couldn't even think of before, may now have the opportunity to kiss Fangza, Izuno Ichiro, are you getting impatient living? Baihizi looked at the former subordinate with disdainful eyes, ready to have his retainers kick him out. If it were back in those days, she would have sunk this guy into the sea to feed the fish long ago, but now that she has washed up and landed, she will not easily resort to extreme measures anymore. Madam, you don't know, do you? The current leader of the Concern for the Country Association has reached a cooperation agreement with Tokyo's Wisteria legislator. Oh. You keep talking, Lily frowned. Her husband passed away too suddenly, 
to the extent that most of his political heritage was stolen by the current president of the Worry for the Country Association. However, the Takagi family still has a strong foundation in the main city and does not fall to the level of being bullied. You may not know that Kaoching Zhuang Ichiro has offended that counselor, and even humiliated Senator Wisteria directly at a public meeting. It's a bug. So. Guess what he's working with the current president for? Ichiro Kwano chuckled. So, what role are you playing in it? Lily looked at the other person coldly. Wisteria is to avenge being humiliated, and the new president is to embezzle the Takagi family. So what does this guy want? Hee <laughs> hee, after I found out about this, I tried my best to contact Counselor Wisteria and sent him your photo. And there's also a photo of your daughter, Takagi Saya. He expressed satisfaction, Ichiro Izuno continued, only staring awkwardly at Yuriko's reaction. This beast. Lily grasped the armrest of her seat, her killing intent constantly rising in her heart. No, just kill him like this, and that wisteria will take us. Although the Takagi family still has some political connections, when it comes to the murder case and the opponent is still a member of parliament in Tokyo, those acquaintances, no matter how much they value human relationships, will not lend a helping hand. What exactly do you want? Lily suppressed her anger and asked with a slightly trembling voice. I just want to have a second sip of soup after you've served Counselor Wisteria. In fact, Wisteria only wanted Lily to accompany her and did not take a liking to Takagi Saya, who was still a high school student. However, this does not prevent Ichiro Kwano from using her daughter as a threat. Think about it, what exactly is the right choice? At this time tomorrow, I hope to receive a response. Izuno Ichiro swaggered out of the Takagi family. After a period of contemplation, Takagi Yuriko summoned her retainers over. Shanshia Jun, how do we treat you in the Gaoching family? A cold light flashed in Lily's eyes. Upon hearing these words, the retainer named Shanshia immediately understood something. He knelt down and said with determination, Madam, do you have any orders? I will serve you to the death. At present, we have been forced to a desperate situation, and the Takagi family seems to have become history. I will be ready tonight, leaving all my fixed assets and taking my daughter to the United States. And you have to do the last thing for us. Kill that traitor. Hi. The mountain enthusiastically nodded and said. Lily didn't hesitate for a second whether or not to accompany Counselor Wisteria. She even treated her husband with respect and didn't cross the line. How could she accompany that animal who took the opportunity to oppress her? Just now, she was just thinking about how to regain her relationship on Wall Street and establish herself in the United States. It's like watching a period drama, Rico's comment instantly scared Lily, who had just been strategizing, into a cold sweat. You are currently in a spiritual state, which will scare people. The man's gentle voice came from behind Lily. She turned around and found a young man talking to the void. Sorry, Mrs. Lily. The voice of female apology once again emanated from the void. What kind of people are you? Lily took out the pistol hidden under the table and pointed it at the man. Don't pretend to be a ghost, let her come out. Don't get excited, Mrs. Lily. The man's voice instantly appeared behind her. Just as Lily was about to turn the gun head, he was grabbed by the man's strong arms and raised her head in an awkward position. She still wanted to struggle with her legs, but the man ended up sitting on top of her. Madam, please don't move around. After realizing that even twisting her body was just a way to give him benefits, Lily simply stopped, but her eyes remained fierce like those of a mother wolf. Lily, who had never had such intimate contact with a man before, felt even more angry than when Ichiro Kwano threatened her just now. Ching Ming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. 